peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty, my beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes, my beautiful Libras. I hope that you're all doing well and feeling lovely. Yes. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart. So that you may explore all of those beautiful energies that lie from with inside of you. My beautiful tribe. What's really? Yeah, what's really? Let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. Let's go. It's late over here. It's not actually that. It's almost it's almost 9.30, okay? And I need to go to bed. <laughs> Just to be honest, you know. It's been, look, it's the closing out of a physical year um, at the office, okay? So a lot of documentation I'm doing right now on top of my other lives I live, right? <laughs> So beautiful ones, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna get into the energy with a full reading for you all. Welcome to another edition of Nightcaps with Empress 444. Yeah. So what you sipping on? Mm-hmm. What you sipping on? I have some orange. What is it called? I've never seen this before. So I said, mm, that sound good. It's, it tastes so good. This is orange and, um, oh my goodness. It's so good. I, it's just so good. It's orange something. And when I think about what else it is, I'll tell you. It's going to hit me. But let's talk about it, beautiful ones. Get your tea. Get your coffee. Get whatever it is your favorite beverage is for a nightcap. Uh-huh. And let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. Let's talk about it. Peach orange, orange peach. That's what it's called. And it's it's a bag tea, but it's the Twinnings, the Twinnings brand. Oh my goodness, it's so good. They have a couple of seasonal teas that are out. Mmm. Let's get into the synergy with the ones. I hope you're all having a beautiful evening, day, night. Whenever this message reaches your eyes and ears, please know that it is for you. Remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's in this energy. Beautiful ones, I got a new deck in today. Mm-hmm. I sure did get us a new deck. It's the Everyday Witch. Now, I thought they were going to be smaller cards. Um, but they're bigger. But I like that for your eyes view. I like that for your eyes view. Uh huh. They're like the size of my Kipper cards that I wish were smaller as well. Uh huh. It's just easier for my hands to hold. But yeah, let's get into this energy. I am protected by my host of angels ancestors and spirit guides as i channel these messages i ask that my collaborative is protected as well thank you spirit cards for the energy of libra my beautiful libras mm. yeah this is spiritual guidance for you all i really love the illustrations that's what drew me to the energy and I know you will all too as well there we go that's four wow your overall energy is you this is this is you this is you oh my goodness give into passion yeah give into it Libra give it up I mean, I mean, I mean, give it up. Give into passion. It's okay. It is okay. Mm-hmm. 
It really is, Libra. It's okay to give into passion. Some of you are giving into passion, but make sure it's purposeful. Mm hmm. Purposeful. You don't want to give in to too much passion. You know Libras drive them insane. All that sensuality, all that passion you naturally have within you. Yeah, give in to it, but of course you find your balance, right? Listening to wisdom. Wow. Yeah, you had an oracle listen to come out yesterday when I was pulling. And... The universe is really sending you messages at this time. They're coming in your dreams. You're taking walks outside and your hearing seems to have gotten better. You can hear and pick up on everything. That's because the universe wants you to listen. Listen. Yeah, there are synchronicities everywhere around you. Everywhere. Yeah, you got meditation for clarity, all right? So if you're looking to get real clear with your thoughts, especially with us embarking upon this new moon energy, all right? And we're very close. We're very close to the three-day mark. We actually may be in the three-day mark on Halloween, I believe, Thursday. No, Wednesday. Tomorrow. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Start with your manifestation, meditation, okay? So, get clear first in this energy. Get clear. Clear your head. Clear your head. And you could do that through some brain dumping, okay? Writing everything that it is that you want to manifest for yourself as you clear space, as you clear space. So we talked about that a few days ago, about clearing space, making room. You're being called to make some room. Mm -hmm. So that means getting rid of things that you don't need. Yeah, and this is all a part of your meditation for clarity because once you clear the mind you can then step into this place to connect to have a tighter connection okay with source because you've already implanted the seeds okay wow and i'm looking down when i said that at seasonal harvest it's seasonal harvest it's harvest time. Yeah, you've already planted the seed. So this time next year, you'll be in harvest season. You'll look around you and you'll be able to say, wow, I manifested that. Now, this energy that we'll have up until around March or so, we'll go into spring equinox and you will feel the energy shifting, shifting for you. But it's all based upon what it is you have sown. See, she's down there taking care of the garden because some things have to go or everything else will be impacted by it. So she's taking up what she's needing for the time, right? Because it's harvest season. Hmm. Some of you may need to purchase some lavender. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Make a move. Wow. Spirit has been telling y'all to move for some time now. Yeah, it's something Spirit wants you to do that you're not doing. Because... I swear we get this almost every time. Make a move. Now's the time. 
you know, at one point you were receiving no in the cosmic oracle a lot saying, no, now's not the time. But now yes is popping up. If you've noticed that, wow. So make a move because it's harvest season, beautiful ones, all right? And in order to clear your mind, to really free your mind, uh-huh. I mean, as cliche as it sounds, free your mind and the rest will follow, okay? Yeah, we're going to close it out with that one right there. Listen to the universe. It's speaking to you. And your overall energy is the energy of give in to passion. Mm. I think that's one of the things spirit wants you to know is a part of your manifestation. A part of your manifestation is you giving in to passion. So it's like, how can you call something in that you're not ready to give? Uh-huh. And Libra, I know, once you give in the passion, it's like, oh my gosh, you scare yourself, right? Uh-huh. You scare yourself because you know you could... You could put the two on the T, uh-huh, with that passion. I mean, it is what it is, right? But don't be scared of it. Learn to work in the art of it. Because that's actually, your passion is your artistic side. Yeah, it certainly is. Wow, look, look at this. Look what I split the deck to. Material harvest in deception and envy. Oh, we know they gonna be mad. And we gonna keep you feeling that way too. As long as it is that you wanna stay unhealed. Yeah, cause we heal over here, uh-huh. Yeah, so beautiful ones. <laughs> that is wild. But yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to have the passion that you have and understand it in the art form that it is. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Give me cards for Libra. Beautiful Libra. My beautiful, beautiful ones. Beautiful Libras. Triumph and success. This is the Ace of Swords, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Triumph of success. Some clarity in this energy. Definitely. Some solar plex chakra, okay? I can see it too. Yeah, this is what you'll be tapping into. You'll be tapping into your solar plex energy. Now... We know what to work with, with the solar plex, right? You can work with any stone. Mm, I took it off, I took it off, I had it on. But you can work with citron, okay? This is the chakra system, actually this way, all right? Now, you can work with citron and you can work with tiger's eye. You can work with the frequency yellow as well, okay? You have your tiger's eye you can work with. You can also use the color yellow itself, such as this card, and meditate looking into the yellow, okay? Something like this that looks multidimensional is even best, okay? Because it takes you into a deeper meditative state. But your solar plex, beautiful ones, this is the energy of everything that is your personal power. This is what it is that is your control, how you control yourself. This is your trust. This is belief. This is your thoughts. This is your self-esteem and your emotions. This is decisions and even aggression. Yeah. And 
it's the sensitive part of who you are. It's connected to your stomach, allergies, whether you have them or not. Your gut is literally your first brain. That's why they say, listen to your intuition. Was it a gut instinct, right? This is about your emotions being balanced and peaceful. Now, you can listen to frequency 528 hertz, 528 hertz note E for the solar plex, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm, tap into that energy, beautiful ones. And you could, lemon, ginger, vevetir, black pepper, chamomile, and juniper, uh-huh. You can work with those herbs as well. Yeah, you can work with those in order to heal the solar plex. That's part of the meditation that came out for you. Here goes divine timing again. Wow. The waiting gang, the waiting gang with the hourglass here. It's, man, it's been so heavy in the energy. It's, it's the waiting gang for many of you right now. I said many of you are going to meet your person before the year closes out. Some of you will go into the early parts of next year. But beautiful ones. Don't be afraid of your own passion. Memories of love. Wow. Yeah. Memories of love. That's that six of cups energy. Heartache and loss. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Yeah. You know what I've been channeling lately, beautiful ones? There is someone that is very, very heartbroken and sad over losing you. And you can feel these emotions yourself, right? Uh-huh. If, you, if you're open to passion, because passions is everything to do with your emotions, your solar plex. Yeah. And <laughs> memories of love, y'all, okay? Somebody's having memories of love and the overall energy is heartache and loss. What else can I say, right? That this is the energy I've been channeling and is showing up in energy. Someone is very sad. It's something around the holidays or even your birthday. You know, and I said this energy beforehand, like a few weeks back, you know, people are wanting to be with you around this time. And the fact that they couldn't celebrate in your energy or be in your energy really bothers them. It really bothers them, okay? Wow, we got a flipper. We got two, yeah, we got two flippers. We're gonna take these. Might as well make it a full spread. You got positive movement forward that comes out, okay? You got the boat selling. Yeah, it's some positive movement that's happening and it's happening forward. Mm. Partnerships and alliances. Yeah, this is what you got to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Mm. Three. You could be seeing threes. Three, three, threes. 33. We have 33 here. Off top. Wishes, material and spiritual prosperity. Material and spiritual prosperity. With this energy of positive movement forward. You're moving closer to material. And I love the fact that it doesn't leave out the spiritual aspect of it. Yeah, there's some triumphs of success that you've accomplished. And it's time to just really appreciate yourself for it. Yeah, don't forget to appreciate yourself, beautiful ones. Overall energy is rest and rejuvenate. That's right. Talked about this last week with you. It's, it's time to rest now. It's time to rest. You didn't party for your birthday, right? 
Uh huh. Some of you still want to party. I know it took me a while to really just like not be doing this till the end of November. You know what I mean? But now I appreciate the entire month, of course. But I appreciate just to be able to see the solar return. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because I'm tapped into the spiritual aspect of it. So this material and spiritual prosperity, beautiful ones, this is where it's at. And this is how you've been in this energy of pos positive movement going forward, all right? Triumph and success. Tap into your solar plex, all right? You're getting prepared to have a partnership with someone. And it's going to be an alliance. It's, it's going to be a business pleasure. Uh-huh. Yeah, because this isn't just any old type of handshake right there. Nah, uh-uh, that's affection. That's some passion right there, right? You just not shaking nobody's hand like this. So I'm getting the energy of this is going to be a business love affair, okay? And it's gonna it's gonna only going to be a, an affair because it's going to feel like you at the fair, okay? Yeah, because that's what it is. You're preparing your solar plex to receive, to receive, all right? Now, when we talk about, you know, even being able to receive on a pleasure basis, it has everything to do with your solar plex as well. Because your solar plex is the gateway to the portal that brings it to your mind so when we said i said the same yesterday you know blow your mind yeah that part okay so you want to be able to handle and free your mind the card that came out was telling you look you know clarity meditate for more clarity you want to free your mind you want to free your mind to be able to receive everything that it is that is there for you to receive, including passion, however you find the passion, right? It's knowing the moderation and who it is to share it with. That is the lesson that you've learned along the way, right? Let's talk about it. Mm. Yeah, I want to leave that card out. It, I want to leave that card out for you all, okay? Because I just want, it's so beautiful, first of all. And I just want to remind you all to, you know, don't be afraid of the very thing that you are. I listened to a whole podcast today, and it's it's no wonder because it was about your Black Lilith. And there was a lot of information given, you know, on the different aspects of different religions about the Black Lilith. But this is why I'm always talking about that Black Lilith because look, she's uncontrolled passion. She is uncontrolled passion. She is. And she is you. She is you. And it does not matter if you are masculine, divine masculine or divine feminine. She is you. I mean, there's a whole phallus represented in the tarot, right? Yeah. Give into passion. I love it. Give into it, beautiful ones. These cards are so cute. I haven't even looked through all of them. But that's so pretty. I hope you all can see it. All right. Now let's see if we can keep it up as we go into these oracles. Take sip. Toast to the tribe. Let's go ahead and get into some tarot. I'm using the original. Let's talk about it. Let's 
let's tell the story. What's going on with Libra Spirit? What's going on with Libra? What's going on with my beautiful Libras? That phallus, <laughs> that ace of wands. <laughs> Give into passion. Wow. <laughs> well, and I switched the deck to the ace of cups and the eight of cups. The ace of cups, and this is, you walked away, and when you walked away, best believe it's going to be for something better. Nah, uh-uh. We not going downtown, we going uptown. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's where we going. Let's talk about it. Cards for Libra. Hmm, it's destiny. <laughs> it is destiny. Will of Fortune with the Six of Cups. Yeah, Memories of Love, that card that just came out. In the Psychic Tarot. Yeah, Memories of Love, right there. Straight like that. Somebody's having memories of love. Let's talk about it. I hope it's not about the memories, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa memories. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, let's see. We talking about some new love, too, tonight. Right, Spirit? Cards for Libra. Let me flip this card over. Mmm, wow. Mmm, wow. I already know what type of read this about to be. Okay, there we go. Let's talk about it. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. There goes those threes again. And the three. Wow. Whoa. Well, shimmy me down. Right? Look. Three of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Three of Hearts. Three of Swords, Three of Hearts. Three of Swords, Four of. Wait, three of cups, four of swords, three of hearts, excuse me. But you may be seeing threes again, okay? Yeah, you may be seeing threes. There goes that three, three energy again, okay? So definitely something is significant. Look up the frequency of 33, okay? But, mm, wow, someone, is thinking about the last time y'all celebrated. Whoa, we finna really go here tonight. Somebody's thinking about the last time you two were together, okay? Uh-huh. And they're broken hearted. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to bring you a cup. This is an emotional offer, okay? Yeah, let's take this one off top. They don't want to give up in the energy. Nine of Wands, okay? This is someone who just doesn't want to give up in the energy. Wow, we finna have one of these read Spirit, come through. What's going on in the energy? All right, we'll take it now. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody sees you as family. A wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. And they want a new beginning, the Fool, with a Queen of Cups energy. Uh-huh. Spirit set off top. The moon. This is what's not being said. These are the things that are hidden. Yeah, this person is very sad in the energy. Give me the three of cups. Thank you, spirit. Three of cups. All right. They're trapped in their head. Look, they, they can't get it out. They're trapped in their head thinking about you having a new love. Yeah, this is someone that knows that there is a new love in the energy. And someone is just... It's a king of wands, okay? It's a king of wands. It's a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, okay? Now, whether they have these placements or not, this energy is definitely, yeah, they. Uh, it's a fire sign, most definitely. They got fire in the chart, okay? Let's put the deck to the high priestess. So, this energy of someone who has a lot of passion for you, wow. Has a lot of passion for you. Uh-huh. And they know you ain't afraid. 
Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> ah, that, that, that bar from MC Light came through. Keep on, keep keeping on. She say, I ain't afraid of this X. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so look, four of swords. Doing it right, right, right. They're manifesting this. They're laying down, manifesting, okay? That's what they're doing. Four of swords is here with the page of pentacles. This is someone... Mm, mm, mm. Overall energy is the emperor. Whoa. Somebody's daddy, okay? Who wants a new beginning? They want to put down some burdens, okay? They want to put down those burdens. Too much for them to carry, my goodness. Wow. Spirit, give me the three of swords. Somebody could be an Aries, have Aries in their chart as well. Go ahead and switch these energies. Thank you. Three of Swords. Yes, B. All right. Wow, they're manifesting. They're manifesting their ass off. Give me the nine of wands. They don't want to give up. This is some wounded hero who is under judgment right now, okay? And this cup is just not leaving. They're here with this cup stuck. Yeah, with this emotion. They can't let go of this emotion because they know it's attached to the lies, the deception. This is hanging over their head. Whoa, literally, over their head. Yeah, look at them. They're lost. They're lost in their head. They are. Wow, because it was a painful ending. Ten of Swords. It was a painful ending. More painful for them than it was for you. Whoa, because it's a death, and they know it's a done. Dada. They know it's over. It's done. These seasons that we are closing out on have been beautifully closed, Libra. It's just some things that have to stay closed. And you know what those are, right? Because you make the choices for your life. Look, you just nine of pentacles energy. I mean, you know you don't need anyone to be self-sufficient. You choose. And sometimes you choose wrong. And it's okay to get into passion now, okay? It's all right you chose wrong. We all make mistakes sometimes, right? But there's the new beginnings that follow. Ace of Wands. Ooh. Y'all cut it out, okay? Cut it out. Y'all acting up, Libra. Ooh. Split the deck. Mm, yeah, they're in hermit mode. They're in hermit mode and they're watching. they really thinking about their life. They're thinking about everything around them. They're thinking about the lessons you taught them. Yeah. Mm, like I said, you taught them. Queen of Swords, there you are and you're still teaching. You speaking all your spells. Because it's the truth. You can't go wrong. That's why you're moving forward. Mm, come through. Give me the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. There's something going on in their family. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they stuck. They stuck. They can't move. They stagnant. They're not receiving any help moving forward. It's a queen of wands in this energy. Somebody could have an Aries, Leo in their chart. Moving forward. 
and they stressed out. They see you as a queen of wands moving forward and they stressed out, dealing with anxiety, having sleepless nights because they know many of you were connected to this person and it was destined that you meet them for the lessons to be learned. You're someone from a past life. Yeah, you are. And you are the lover. Yeah, that part. This is past life energy. And this is this is the thing about the energy. Now, you know, you know who, whose stories this is, right? But here's the thing. Your past life energy, the things that you haven't settled in this life, definitely. Look, your person does, they just don't go away. They just don't, okay, they're gone now. I'm, you know, I have a new boo. You know what I mean? It doesn't happen like that. You will think about this person from time to time too, but it's only going to be the fact that you know after that pivotal point in your life when you met this energy, things for you plateaued because you were able to walk away from it. That's the powerful part about it. Wow, let's talk about it. Mm. Give me this. Uh, tell us about the Six of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse, good. Tell us more. Tell us more. All right, we got a flipper. The Queen of Swords, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Did you curse him, Libra? <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a joke. That was a joke, okay? Look, you put those burdens down, that's what you did. You put those burdens down, 10 of wands. You said, look, look, dude, look at here, girl. We ain't doing this ever in life. Deuces, right? That's what happened. Yeah, and they're still holding on to your energy. You hold back on yours and you got a tight grip on it. You're not letting it go. You, you're you more careful with who it is you give it to. This is why you're being told it's okay. Go ahead, release the dragon. Uh, I mean, your passion, right? Uh-huh. Release it. Because you hold back because of what was done to you. It's okay to, you know, share it. Uh-huh. It's all right. Mm, wow. Spirit is going off tonight. Give me the nine of cups. Wow. That's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. Okay. Spirit is going off tonight. Clarity. Clarity. Nine of cups. The things are very clear that you're getting your wishes fulfilled. Okay. You're getting your wishes fulfilled out here. Uh-huh. And you looking good doing it. Many of you, you look at it, Mary, and you said, damn, I look good. Damn. You mean I'm only 21 with all this fun? I mean, for real, for real, you know? I'm going to sip some tea to that beautiful ones. What you sipping on? Mmm. Wow. Give us the clarity, spirit. Give us the clarity. All right, this one. Strength, okay? Somebody is looking to tap into some courage to bring a salad offer through here, okay? To a queen of cups. Mm, I feel like somebody knows what you've been through. Someone knows what you've been through. Just being kind, just being an empath, just being loving, nurturing, and caring, uh-huh. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Wow. Uh-huh. Somebody wants a Ten of Cups energy with you. And they want to invest in you. Seven of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're planting seeds. It's harvest time. Beautiful ones, it's harvest time. I split the deck. This is a new beginning. This is when thoughts become things. Ooh, for a high priestess energy. Many of you know that this energy is in you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you try to ignore it because you try to ignore the passion. 
Mm. Look at these major arcanas like this. Wow. Strength, the fool, the moon, the magician, judgment. The universe is taking complete control. At this point, you just got to clear your mind to receive it, to meditate on it. What seeds are you putting down? What do you want your harvest to look like for next year? Mm. Spirit, give me the fool. This is a new beginning. Wow. Whoa. Marriage. As soon as I saw that, okay? Many of you are going to meet that one. But the hyphen is here. Please know that this is all led by source. Like I said, the most high. <laughs> Look. The universe got this. It's a painful ending. And it's a death. When it comes to this nine of pentacles energy. And you closing out of sight. Uh, uh, yeah. A cycle. Look, some of you will not be single for long. Yeah, this is a transformation happening in the energy. And it, it comes after a painful ending. Mm. Yeah, someone tried to juggle a high priestess. Nah, you can't deal with anything that's in balance. You the scale. Hmm. Give me the hierophant. Wow. The Most High saw everything that was being done to you. Seven of Swords. The lies. The deception. Somebody thought they was doing it in secret. And now they all in their head about it because they have to live with that. That's theirs. That's not yours. That's not, it's not yours. It's theirs. Yeah. Lucifer himself, right? In the flesh, in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's theirs. And whoever it is they're connected to, too. Because that demonic soul tie is not yours. It's theirs. Come through. Split the deck. A tower is also theirs. And this is why they thinking hard right now. They thinking real hard right now. Yeah. They know it's real. This has to be the worst type of pain that you can create for yourself, right? Mm. Because they created it in the energy. It didn't come by you. You cut it off. You the queen of swords out here. Let's talk about this magician. Because this magician energy, their heart broke. Who's manifesting? What's going on in this energy? Give me the magician. All right. Wow, yeah. A broken hearted energy is manifesting, okay? Somebody could be Aquarius. Somebody could have an air sign. Three of Wands is here because somebody wants expansion. Somebody want to, they already know it's harvest season for you. They want expansion. They're manifesting. They, look, they visualize this energy every night before they go to bed, okay? This is the fortune telling card. This is what it is that you see. They see a star. And they would love to heal this energy. They visualize. This is what they think about. With a new beginning, I can't make this up. They just think about this new beginning and healing this and this is just something that is just on their mind. Never ending. It's the never ending story. Because they know. You're going to be out here giving into some passion. If you are not already, right? Give me the judgment. Give me the judgment. It's me. All right. The Empress called judgment. Yes, she did. Mm, let's see the verdict. There you go. A collaboration. Mm -hmm. A collaboration. That's the judgment. 
with a solid offer, a Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody reliable, somebody sturdy in the energy. Right? What else they doing? Ooh, it's an emperor. Watch out. It's a boss. Oh, it's, it's Big Zaddy. <laughs> Flip and switch these energies. Split the deck. Look, they in their head about that new love. Uh-huh. This is somebody who is indecisive. Mm. This could even be you. Nah, Libra, don't be indecisive. Just just know, just know you're moving completely different now, right? And give in to passion. I mean, if it's something, well, look, the high priestess is here. Yeah, give in to passion. Give in, it's okay. Even the high priestess, you know, they, they say the high priestess is the other woman, the mystery lady. Uh-huh. <laughs> always kills me but yeah uh-huh yeah that's what they say uh -huh. but the empress is a high, high priestess energy as well okay <laughs> wow y'all got me rolling tonight give me the moon thank you spirit give me the moon mm. i already know what the sun is gonna be I already know what the sun is going to be that I'm going to post at the bottom. Look, wow, these cards that just came out. I'm putting them back in, but it's the Queen of Wands on the Chariot, okay? Yeah. Cancer, fire, energy. But, and then the Queen of Pentacles comes out. It, I mean, Spirit is being real sassy right about now because, I mean, that message, wow, and I flip it over and it's a King of Cups. Look. Spirit is saying, Spirit is talking big shit right now, okay? I'm just going to keep it real. Spirit is like, oh, yeah, and you're going to move on like, like a sassy, like a sassy, sassy one, okay? Uh-huh. Be about your coin and woo, whoa. <laughs> Be about your coin and somebody going to love it. This is that alliance. This is that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, look with the justice card. There you go behind it. Spirit is styling and profiling the night. Look, somebody's going to match your energy and y'all going to look good doing it. The king of cups who's a king of pentacles. That's the justice. That's the balance. That's the fairness. And you coming through like a queen of pentacles and a queen of wands in the chariot. Whoa, Libra. Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. That's for the moon energy, okay? I was channeling. Yeah. This is what's going on under the moon. Somebody stressed out, thinking how they F they hold. Will of fortune off, they destiny off when it came to a past life love who was a six of cups energy, a nostalgic feeling that felt like home, and they can't return either. Yeah, that heart broke. Yeah, it's broken, and that's what's being hidden. That's what they're not telling everyone, but believe me, it's killing them inside. It is. Overall energy. They want to make some changes. This is somebody after the fact. They could have Aquarius in the chart. But this is somebody after the fact wants to make some changes when it comes to love. Okay? They want to do it now. <sighs> Look. Because they never had a love like this. They never had a love like this. Never, ever in a lifetime. Guess I'll see you next lifetime. Wow. Mm. 
somebody this is this is pathetic at this point beautiful ones they want to get this cup to you they want a new beginning with a high priestess energy who's a nine of pentacles who closed the cycle on them mm. wow this is you know what this was not how this was supposed to go okay beautiful ones <laughs> a nice juicy read but this energy is taking over I, I, you know it's nothing I can do you have someone from the past who was heartbroken stressed the hell out going through a tower stuck in a loveless situation okay yeah in a loveless situation because you ain't there Give me the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. It's a painful ending for this energy. Wow. Yeah, it's a twin flame. 11 11. Yeah. It's a twin. And the star is here and they're watching you. You could be on social media, they could see you. They can just know you're a healing energy, period. And they're watching you and you put a depth to this. They also watching you transform because you're not the same person you were. Yeah, you're not picking up the phone. They wanna collaborate. Mm. It's like, this is Scorpio energy. We're in Scorpio season. So this is the transformation. We're literally looking at the transformation. Somebody's watching you and they want to collaborate with you. They can see you wherever it is they see you, right? Uh-huh. And this is the death energy. This is the transformation energy. And it's like you stepping into the energy of an emperor, right? No longer are you dealing with an emperor who wants to work on some things who wants to work together that's that alliance you're not dealing with this page energy or even a knight anymore nah because you're the empress wow wow and that's the four of wands energy that's the four of wands tell us about the four of wands tell us about the four of wands because your person from the past was a false twin, right? Whoa. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning with prosperity and abundance on the four wands with a stable beginning. This is a stable beginning. Mm. Give me the page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Someone's in hermit mode. Going through a tower. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's in hermit mode. And they're, it's like they're trying to ignore the fact that they're going through a tower. They're losing everything around them. Mm-hmm. They're having to give it up. Mm-hmm. That's what I just heard. What's this overall energy? Queen of Wands is here. They fighting. It's fighting going on around what they done to you because they know that this person is still in love with you and that they still want to work something out. Yeah, with a Queen of Cups energy. Give me this tower and the hermit. The top, thank you. Yeah, this energy wants to make some changes. They want to go towards you. They do. Look, the lovers is here. Overall energy. They want to go towards you. And it's fighting going on where they're at. It's a king of wands energy. Okay? A fire sign. Yeah. Mm. Who wants to bring you a solid offer? This is somebody is like... <sighs> My goodness. This was in the energy earlier today. Somebody been stressed out all day long. Okay, real hard. It's something about today. <laughs> something about today. They in their feelings, Libra. They in their feelings. Wow. 
they need to heal their solar plex as well, right? Hmm. Give me the seven of swords. Seven of swords in this energy. Thank you, spirit. Tell us more. Okay. Yeah. They sacrificed you. Or tried to, right? Uh-huh. They sacrificed you. And now you blocked their ass. And walked away. Eight of cups. Seven of wands to the eight of cups. They ended up being a sacrifice. Wow. And now you're in this energy of a two of cups. A divine partnership. They lost you. A partnership that gives reciprocity, some balance in the energy, right? And they're all in their head about it because they know you're going to get everything you manifested. Mm. I spit the deck. When you put them burdens down, you started making better choices, right? You're in the energy of making better choices. And you're allowed to make mistakes too. You just won't take it, <laughs> take it that far next time, right? Beautiful ones. I'm in this here. Cause this ain't it. I mean, <laughs> it's really not. Let's go ahead and pull on. Let's pull on the makeshift. Okay. Let's pull on the makeshift. Let's let's get some more energy out here because this this read is I mean other than your new love coming in this is beautiful but the pain your person from the past is going through is like my goodness get some help right mm. <sighs> yeah they crying at night stressed out. Give me the nine of swords, nine of swords. They're dealing with a lot of anxiety, okay? Wow, and the devil comes out. Yeah, it's time to close this one out. We're gonna go ahead and pull from the makeshift and to see, you know, uh-huh, and grief and loss and regret. Yeah, it's only gonna get worse with beautiful ones, okay? Yeah, this is the saddest love story ever, all right? That's the name of this, okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. They want a new beginning. It's just going to be begging. It's going to be a lot of begging in this energy. I'm not with it, okay? But let's pull on the makeshift, okay? Let's get some messages from the makeshift, beautiful ones. Yeah. I can't. And, and I'm ready to lay down and go to sleep, too. <laughs> Got to clear my mind. <laughs> Beautiful ones. Be sure to hit the like button. It supports the tribe. It supports the channel. Yeah. It supports me. All right. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful ones. Wow. You got someone really, really, really in their feelings. I mean, my goodness. Let's put the deck, the high priestess, and the five of wands. They fighting over you. They, oh, my goodness. And it's the king of wands. Yeah. It's a whole lot of mess going on involving your energy. Somebody knows that that tear that they see in their eye, that's for you. Somebody knows it. Somebody knows they cry in the car, on the bus, on the block, wherever it is they go. Somebody knows that. And it's a problem. But look, you didn't create that problem. They did right wow Libra Woo! y'all can't be out here with that passion just throwing it around like hotcakes it ruins lives <laughs> and y'all know I'm not joking Libras know I am not joking but I mean you love you love unlike any other and that's not your fault. It's actually one of your gifts. 
It's one of your artistic endeavors about yourself, right? Learn how to use that magic, but be wise with it because it is magic. It is magic, okay? Yes, it is magic, beautiful ones. Let's see what's in this energy. Let's see what's going on in the energy. I'm just pulling out the black makeshift tonight, okay? Let's go ahead, let's talk about it. Cards for Libra, cards for Libra. These are persons, people, places, and things that may have significance to your story. Be sure to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. Uh-huh. Don't try to make it fit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, kind of somber. Wow. Wow. This one wants the fight to get out. You may know a Kevin. Someone's name might be Kevin. Look, it got bent out. Like, it was angry. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Who else, Spirit? Wow. Kevin sleeps around. All right? Sleeps around. Somebody sleeps around. Let's just get all these energies out here. Somebody's bisexual. It landed on top of Kevin. You got a Keisha out here. Let's pull this. Somebody's name could be John John. Uh-huh. Yeah, somebody's name could be John John. Black Magic. Mm-hmm. Black Magic is here. Wow. Someone could drive a Mustang. They could drive a Mustang. That's wild. I had on my Mustang shirt today. I surely did. Let's get this energy out here. What else, Spirit? What else? Run them, okay? Again, beautiful ones, these are people, places, persons, and things. Uh-huh. That may have significance to your story. Yeah, let's see about it. If I could get them all right. Yeah, okay. Let's run it. Chevy. Someone could drive a Chevy, a Chevy Classic, a Chevy truck. In deep love. Someone is in deep love with you, Libra. Someone has big brown eyes, okay? You could have big brown eyes. Someone is a professional liar, uh-huh, and they're full-time and not part-time, beautiful ones, all right? They're missing you. Someone is missing you. Someone's name could be London. Someone could be from London or the UK. 5150. Someone has needs medical attention, okay? Uh-huh. Someone is brown skin or brow skin, as I spelt it. Someone is bisexual. Mm-hmm. Someone has hella kids. They got hella kids. That's what we say out here. We say hella. It's like buku, all right? They got a lot of children, right? Five or more. Peaches is here, okay? Peaches is here. I'm going to sip my tea to that one. Uh-huh. Orange peach, beautiful ones. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Okay. Millionaire. Somebody's going to be a millionaire. Uh-huh. Somebody's going to be a millionaire. Trauma, okay? And it's spelled wrong, but it's trauma nevertheless, right? Someone's going through some trauma. Someone is definitely still suffering from childhood. Wounds is what I'm getting. Lots of trauma. Unhealed trauma. Motel. Somebody could be sleeping in a motel right now. Someone could be a security guard, okay? They can be a security guard. Someone could be a CNA, a certified nurse assistant, okay? 
Denver Broncos. Somebody could be from Denver or like the Denver Broncos. It's a wrap. It's over. Wrap it up. <laughs> I'm gone. Melody is here. Melody. Somebody's name is Melody in this energy. Melanie. Melissa. Marilyn. Marlon. Megan. Libra is here. There you go, showing up in your energy. Sweetheart. America, sweetheart. Uh-huh, sweetheart. Yeah, somebody's a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart, Libra. Chip is here, okay? Chip. Somebody's nickname or name could be Chip. You could like chips, um, chocolate chips, potato chips, but Chip is something significant about the name Chip, okay? It could be a chip um, to a computer, okay? Somebody, something to do with Chip, okay? Yeah, Carlos is here. Carlos, Carl, uh-huh. Carrie, Carlton, Carla, Carly, Tasha is here. Tashina, Tasha, Tanisha, Taryn, Talanda, Tamika, Terry, that's what I got. Virgo, Virgo is here. Somebody has pretty hair, uh-huh. They have nice hair. You could have Virgo in your chart. She steals from you, okay? This is for anyone that can relate. Someone is stealing from you and it's a female, all right? Astro travel, someone's been astro traveling, uh-huh. Write down your dreams, beautiful ones. Write them down, notate them, whatever it is you can remember. <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> whatever you can remember. A GMC truck is here. GMC truck. Someone drives a silver GMC truck. I see a red GMC truck as well. A secret coven. Someone is connected in a secret coven. Uh-huh, Hennessy is here. Someone drinks Hennessy. Someone could drive a Mustang. Someone is doing voodoo. Someone is really smart, uh-huh. Black Magic is here. Again with the name John, John is here. Johnny, Jonathan, Jonas, Joan, Jarrell, Gerald. Jasmine sleeps around, okay? Sleeps around. Lazy, somebody's lazy. Kevin is here. The name Kavina. Keisha is here. Lakeisha. Kiara. Shoplifts is here. Somebody shoplifts. Heather is here. Helen and Helena. Hopeless romantic. Uh huh. Kim is here. Kimberly. Kimber. Kimbella. Loves Gucci. Someone loves Gucci. Mama's baby, Papa's maybe. Somebody needs a paternity test, okay? Money hungry. Somebody is just money hungry in the energy. Someone could be from Texas. Someone needs cash money. Now. Addicted, addiction to toxic women. Somebody has an addiction to toxic women and it's most likely due to their mother wounds, okay? Uh-huh, and someone loves chicken. Beautiful ones. I hope these messages have been able to provide the clarity that you've been feeling intuitively. Beautiful ones, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and become a part of this metaphysical tribe. If this is truly your vibe, I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.